In this tutorial, I will show you how to use Interact to create a quiz. So as you can see here, they will help you make a quiz for your business in one minute. And in this video, I'll show you exactly how to do that. Now, the simplest way to do this is to enter your website URL to create a quiz for your brand. So if you have a website for your business and you're not entirely sure what you want to create yet, then just go and enter the website here. Then it will extract the information from your website. And if you click generate quiz based on that information, it will then generate a quiz. However, if you already know what questions you want to ask, then just click on start from scratch right there. Now, if you want to get started with Interact completely for free, then I'll leave a link down in the description. And through that link, you can get started with a completely free trial. So for example, I'll go ahead and add a URL right here and click generate quiz. So you will see they say we will read this URL and use the information to create your quiz. So you can also choose to copy and paste your website text, but I'll just click next since this is much easier. Then they will ask, do you have an idea in mind for your quiz? So you can say no, or I have a quiz idea, but not a specific quiz title, or I have an exact quiz I want to make. I'll say no, since then it will just help me generate a quiz. So then they will ask, what does your business do? Then click next. Then what is the most common problem you help customers solve? Then again, click next. Then it will generate some quiz titles for you. And you can see those right here. So just pick the one that you think is best for your specific quiz. I will take the one at the top right here. Then what do you want your quiz to do? Determine a quiz takers personality type, assess knowledge or expertise on a topic, recommend products or services with a quiz, or I'm not sure, choose for me. I'll take this one, recommend products or services. Then are there specific questions you would like to ask in your quiz? If you have some specific questions, click yes. If not, just click no, and then AI will generate it. I'll click no. Then here, choose how many questions you want to do. So they recommend between four and 10. Now I'll just keep it to the standard, which is five and click next. Then are there specific topics or audiences you want to address in your quiz? So then click next, or you can choose to skip it. I recommend just entering whatever it should focus on. So after clicking next, you can simply sign up for free. So I'll just continue with Google. Now they are going to build your quiz and this should take only one to two minutes. So now the quiz is finished. For me, it took only about 30 seconds. Now you can either start editing immediately or you can just view it first, which is what I'll do. So I'll click view your quiz. Then here you will see what it looks like. Now you want to go and change the pictures and stuff like that, but that's super simple. But if you click take quiz right here, you will see the questions they've come up with. So what is your biggest concern related to recruitment? And the company that I entered and the description is a recruitment company for construction businesses. So therefore the questions are tailored to that business. And this quiz should help find customers. So for example, finding skilled workers, then how do you currently attract candidates? And what is the most important factor for you in your recruitment? Then how do you handle long lasting open positions? And the final question, since I had five, is what is your strategy for future recruitment? Now here to actually create a customized response based on all the answers that the quiz taker added. So in this case, your primary challenge is a lack of skilled workers. So that's what I answered in the quiz. Now here you want to go and add some kind of a call to action so that people can actually contact you. And in order to do that, you just want to close this and click start editing your quiz. Then here you may need to sign in again. So I'll just sign in with Google and that will take you to your dashboard. And from here you can start editing. Now you will see if you want to remove the interact branding, you will need to have the light growth or pro plan, which are $27 per month when you bill annually for the cheapest one and monthly it's $39 per month and branding is not included in here. And you can collect 500 leads per month, which is quite a lot. So in order to start editing the quiz, just go to whatever page you want to edit. So this right here is the cover. Now I'll just click edit cover image since this one isn't that good for what I'm doing. So I'll click replace and then click yes. Now here you can search for an image. For example, if I search construction and click find images, it will use these stock images to find good images. For example, I'll take this one right here. 
Now here you can crop it, for example I'll take it like this and click on crop and save. So that's already a lot better with the specific quiz that I'm building. Now in terms of colors, I don't really like this orange, so I'll click button right here at the top. And then here I can choose a different color, for example I will take some kind of a blue color like this right here. Now the font I also don't like that much, so I'll click on the text right here. Then here you can click font, and then here you can use all the Google fonts. So I'll just take the popular ones right here, for example Oswald or Roboto. For example, I will take this one. So now you can just go through every single page and you can also change the answers and questions. You can add more questions and you can animate the checkbox. So I'll show you what that looks like in a second. Now one very important feature is that you can use branching logic. So basically if someone chooses this, then take them to this question. If they say showcasing company culture, then take them to this question about that, etc. So if you want to turn that on, you need to click on right there. And then you can also start using that. Now you will see, for example, I can drag in this question. And then I can create a new question, for example, this one. And then I can say, if someone answers this, and then I can say, for example, if someone answers this question with this answer right here, then I can take them to that one. But if, for example, they do any of these, then I can link them to this one. So it's very easy. And now you can also put them back together to the result, for example. But you will see in this case, there are four results. So it can be lack of skilled workers, inefficient recruitment, poor employer brand, or limited recruitment. So then once you're done, you can click save map and go back. So now that you know how you can actually create the quiz, you can actually start publishing it. So click publish in the top right. And then in order to publish it, you will need to get one of their paid plans. Now, if you do sign up through the link down in the description, then first of all, you can build it completely for free. And then from here, you will get a 14 day free trial. So if you're interested in getting that 14 day free trial, simply click on the link in the description and then start your free trial, whether you want to pay monthly or annually in any of these plans and then you can get started right here. Now the final thing I want to show is the integrations. For example, if you want to integrate with your CRM or your email marketing platform, then just go to the Interact homepage right here and click integrations. Now here you will see all of them, but you can set it to, for example, marketing automation, email marketing, communication, whatever you want to do. Let's say I want to integrate with ConvertKit right here or maybe HubSpot, then I can simply click on that and then here you can see what you can do with this integration. So when a new form is submitted in Interact, you can add them to a contact list, add them to a workflow, or update a contact property. Now, if you actually want to integrate with those platforms, you will need to go and upgrade your plan, and then you can add those integrations, and you can embed it onto your website by getting the code, and you can just share it through a link as well, or embed it into an email, whatever you want to do with your quiz. So now you know how to use Interact to build a quiz. Again, if you want to get started with Interact completely for free, you can sign up through my link down in the description. If this video was helpful, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. With that being said, I will see you in the next video.